Time for some more Elite Redux. I just fought Watson's gym. Now it's time to actually fight Watson. I had a Center Scorch to the team instead of Zorar because I think a Fire type would help me. But it's Shell Bell just so I can heal a bunch after doing a bunch of damage. Coil up, Flash Fire, White Smoke, and Molten Down. So Fire moves actually beat Rock types. I need to keep that in mind if he has like a Golem or something. But either way, I'm just adamant pretty much max HP, max attack. I don't really need speed because of, uh, what's it called? Coil up. So the first biting move it uses will be priority. Uh, now that's only once per battle. It's not like I can use, or not once per battle, once per switch in. So it's not like I can use Leech Life the first turn, have priority, and then use Fire Fang the second turn and have priority. It's, I, I use one or the other, and then the other one won't have priority the next time I use it, unless I switch and come back in. So that's why I also have Flare Blitz, so I can actually deal damage after I lose the priority. Uh, and I can, t so like, it works at any time, so as long as I use or save the Biting move, I can get the priority. So I can Coil, Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz, then Fire Fang, and have priority on the, the one Fire Fang. That's how it works. So I think it's probably either best to just go banded with this, where I could give it like crunch or something else, or I do something like this where I'm just coil, a little bit of healing with Shell Bell and Leech Life, and then hopefully it's good enough <laughs> and doesn't screw me over. Yeah, that's basically it. I just added Flare Blitz so I could have some real damage if I need it. And other than that, no one else changed because I think it's probably good enough. Hopefully I won't regret not bringing Zorark. I probably will, but let's hope I don't. Hi, Watson. What do you have for me? I beat... What's it called? I beat Brawly really easily with Clefable. Let's hope it goes similar with Watson. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that? Oh, God. Electric Surge Raikou. <laughs> Great. It's sashed, of course it is. It has transistor and electric moves. Electric types don't resist electric. And it can paralyze electric types. I don't have any electric types, so it doesn't matter. Beast boost, so I can't let this thing get a kill if I can help it. Electric surge. Timid. I mean, this would have been faster than Zorark anyway. So... Recover, rising voltage, calm mind, aurora beam. Okay, so, so actually, I think this might be fine. So what I could do, he might Calm Mind. I think I Flare Blitz here. If I Flare Blitz, I think I should survive a Rising Voltage. Actually, though, I might be making that up. I should check. But if I can survive a Rising Voltage after a Flare Blitz, the next turn I can Leech Life. And he'll just die. I think it'd be bad to leech life now, because then I won't have priority for the next move, and if he calm mines, then I'd be screwed. So I, yeah, I'd, I'd have to flare blitz. Let me see if there's anything better that I could do. What else do you have? Clink Clang. Okay, it's four attacks, and they're all really scary attacks, and this hits multiple times because it's broken. <laughs> oh, it's impenetrable! Oh, Jesus. So that means it won't take any damage from using Steel Beam. And Steel Beam hits three times. <laughs> Great. Drake Assault. Uh, Surge Surfer. Okay. And Dragon's Maw. Jesus. And it has Bolt Beak. Ah, oh, cripes. <laughs> uh, he has the Super Clot, so this is Ice Fire Electric. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, and Mega Launcher moves hit twice, but at boosted power, and I'm pretty sure all of these are Mega Launcher moves. <laughs> oh god, and of course this. I'm not even going to look at Raichu, because I already know this thing's broken. <laughs> this is Drizzle. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little worried, but let's just worry about the Raichu crow in front of me. Let's just worry about Raikou. Okay, so first off, let's go here. Oops, I didn't mean to be on Center Scorch. I meant to be on the calculator. So I need to be in uh, Senti Scorch. Oh, I, I need to update this. 
One second, I have to update the save file. This is still old Santa Scorch where it has Ember. Is it fixed? Uh, Santa Scorch. No, right back. Okay, there we go. I think I think I'm fine then. So I I could just flare blitz here. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can just go into Shedinja. He can't touch me. So I just flare blitz now. Okay, he did calm mine. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't turn electric terrain on for the calculator. Wait, am I bad? Yeah, I was giga dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, good thing uh, he doesn't know I'm stupid. Thank god. Okay, well now I just kill it with leech life. This was perfect. Yeah. Okay, great. Good thing uh, I am really good at the game and not stupid and didn't almost sack my Centex Lorch. <laughs> god, I'm so bad. <laughs> I should have just gone into Shedinja. There was no reason for me to even... Whatever. It's fine. Three result. It's gonna go for a rock move, uh, probably. How much damage? Wait, do I take reduced damage from rock moves? No, I, I'm pretty sure I just beat rock types. So yeah, I need to switch. Okay, and it's definitely faster than me. What's my speed? Sixty-four. He's definitely faster than me. Drake's ult is not slow. Yeah. Okay. And it's naive. So, I guess it could Bolt Beak to... If he goes for a rock move, I... The problem is I want to go into Shedinja on a Bolt Beak. But if he goes for Jagged Fangs, I, I guess... No, it's still fine. Let, let's just go into uh, Runarigas. That, that pretty much covers everything. It also has Dragon's Maw. This thing's just kind of terrifying. But I'm just going to go into Runarigas. Hopefully he goes for... Bolt B, keep it, at worst, I think he's gonna rock move, and then like, uh, and then he'll just go for the dragon move, right? Don't get your attack boost, please. It's a ten percent chance. Thank you. Good. Okay, that's disabled. I can't. I still can't go into Shedinja because he has fire blast. But I mean, does him not being able to use dragon fangs give me anything? He's just gonna go for a dragon move here. No, not really. Okay. So I just stay in an earthquake. Actually, I got iron defense. It's probably best to protect once in iron defense, but like, who cares? <laughs> Not me. Ow. I did 61. Now he'll do about 30. So, I mean, I just have to hope he doesn't crit me, but let's protect here. If I go for Phantom Force... Let me think. Okay, electricity's gone, that's good. If I go for Phantom Force... Well, does he have a switch in? I probably should just Earthquake, and I think I will, but... I'm just spitballing here. He doesn't have any Phantom Force resists. Probably Clink Clang. And Clink Clang does hurt me because it has Ice Beam. Or whatever that move was. I just Earthquake. 32. No, don't do that. It's a 20% flinch chance. I looked at it and was really hoping it wouldn't happen. I right, protect once. I could go for more iron defenses, but at this point I'm a little too low to be baiting him like that. I'm not going to be able to out heal. So I just Earthquake. I just need this thing gone. It does too much damage. Ow. Thank you for not flinching. <laughs> if that was a flinch, it would have been Joker. Uh, of course, right, I forgot it was sashed. Okay, well, I still can take this out. 28, I'll be enough. I just have to hope he doesn't crit me! Hooray! I love hoping he doesn't crit me. Don't flinch me either. Thank God. <laughs> okay, we're all good. Well, not really. He still has a bunch of scary Pokemon, but... You know, as good as it gets for now. Okay, I can protect once on Runorigus, but... Does that little extra health really get me anything? Ah, Electric Terrain's back. Defense boost. It's Iron Barbs. 
hits 8 billion times. So, he's gonna go for Aurora Beam. This can't hit Shedinja. Perfect. So, we're good, because this thing is a horrifying threat. And it does have Iron Barb, so I just need to keep that in mind. I also can't burn him, which is also a little frustrating, but it's alright. As long as, like, I can go into Shedinja, I can use the other move, Poltergeist, to take it down slowly. It doesn't have any physical moves, right? It's just completely special. Yeah, I was wondering if burning it would do anything. But with Impenetrable, it's not even worth it. Okay, hold on. What is this going to switch into? If it switches at all. Claude Sir can hit me. It's Searing Shot and Flame Burst. He's hit twice, so I can't even switch in on... Or can't even stand on Shedinja. This has priority? Oh, it's a 40 power move. Okay. Well, I think it's probably going to go into this. No matter what, I'm going to Poltergeist, so I don't really have a choice. But, like, if he has something good to switch into this... The other stuff can't even hit it. So the only danger is... This. This can't hit Shedinja. So... Lanternite? Why is it an Apricorn? Wait, he has a Lanternite! I don't have Megas yet. Okay, well, either way, I Poltergeist. I guess I could will wisp if he goes... No, he's Fire-type. And there's no reason to go for anything but Poltergeist. Yeah, it's going into Clodser. You one-shot? No. 81 damage. That was a 110 power move. Alright, let's go to the calculator. I'm pretty sure it does not kill. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to check, right? Shedinja. This is my Shedinja, right? No. Where's my Shedinja? Okay, I don't know why my Shedinja's not here. What the heck? That's strange. I see Ninja Ask. Okay, whatever. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, Klotzer. From uh, Watson. Maybe level 36. <laughs> I like these damage numbers. <laughs> but either way, uh, I will not be staying in. I just need to ch I need to manually input my garbage. Okay, there we go. It's being a bit finicky, and I did input how much HP it has left, which is a guaranteed 2 hit KO even at max roll. So, time to run for my life. And for my life, I go into Scorch, who is Flashfire, and then I can just kill it. Perfect. I didn't even think of that beforehand. That's why I brought set flash fire. I knew I needed it for something. Why the ice beam? I was in Shedinja! You're an asshole! Okay, what? Don't freeze me, please. Okay, good. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do the same thing anyway. Uh, does he? No, he does not resist this. But I'm pretty sure Leech Life kills. So I should probably just do it for the extra health. But I'm going to Fire Fang. Wait, actually, no, I should leech life in case he switches, and I'm pretty sure leech life kills anyway. I probably should have checked. Please don't not kill, because then we'll have some issues. Okay, good. <laughs> Why did he ice beam? <laughs> Whatever. How dare he protect my switch? At least he didn't predict correctly. If I had gone into uh, Runa Regis, we would have had some issues. Okay, this is gonna Mega Evolve. I don't know what Mega Lantern does, so I guess we'll find out as soon as it clicks it. Let's see. It's just modest. Uh... Okay, it's really annoying not knowing what abilities Mega Lantern might have, but... I think no matter what, I have to switch into... Wait, does... He can't even touch Shedinja, right? Didn't we go over this? What if he has an ability that... What if he has Mold Breaker when he evolves? Well, either way, I'm gonna go into Shedinja, and I guess we'll find out. The only way he'll kill me is if he's Mold Breaker and Multi-Headed or something. Ah, nice. I like that. <laughs> I thought it would look bad, but it doesn't. I kind of like it.
It looks really cool, actually. Anyway, what does this do? Hydro Circuit. Electric moves 50%, water moves siphon 25% damage. What? What does that mean? Like they... Oh, like it... It heals, right? Like it, it has life steal. I think that's what that means. Storm Drain... Yeah, and Bolt Absorb, and then Radiance. 20% accuracy, dark moves fail when it's present. That's a cool ability. Well, good thing I don't have any dark moves. Let me think. Well, he still can't touch me, so... <laughs> Sorry. Oops. I can still use Poltergeist, right? Probably shouldn't, just to save PP. And maybe I should've to get this Clinkline on the Switch. Clinkline can't touch me either. WAIT! WHY?! No! No! I'm so stupid! It's so over. It's so over. I can't beat this game without Shedinja. <laughs> no. Why did I... I shouldn't have x scissored. That was so stupid. I completely forgot this thing was still alive. I completely forgot. Fuck. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's the worst loss I've ever had. That is so bad. Like, not even for this battle. I think I'm still fine for this battle. Well, actually, no. This battle's actually got a lot harder now. Fuck. Dude. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Everything was so easy before Shedinja died. Oh. Oh, man. This is not good. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, what do I do about this? God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's... Let's see. What is Clang Clang speed? It says base 90 speed? Why is this thing so fast? I thought it would be slower than this, but it's not. Especially because I... Oh, no, I am I am jolly, right? I'm 93, and I'm jolly. Cool. Um, I'm not jolly, I'm adamant. He's timid. I guess I have to check then. Why did I lose shit? Okay, Needle Queen. With adamant, 248. No, yeah, adamant, 248 speed. Wait. Oh, stats aren't updated on the... That's weird. It's stats here are wrong. Oh, no, they're not. I, I'm stupid. I'm looking at the wrong stats. <laughs> I was looking at the stats rather than the uh, base stat. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's faster than me. Okay, so I can't even go into Needle Queen. I'll get blasted. Can I go into Scentiscorch? Does Scentiscorch kill this? Firefang does about 60%. I think I might be boned. Just because I lost Shedinja. I think I might be automatically boned. I can't check it right now. I don't I don't remember how much HP it has, but I think I'm dead. Like if Center Scorch can't kill this from here, then I might be it might be over party. And yeah, it doesn't have a, it's not low enough to die Center Scorch. Let me see. So, how much health is this? So, Firefang does... Yeah, it's not below 60%. I'm not gonna kill this. I think I might... I might have lost. <laughs> I'm gonna take Iron Barb's damage, too. And I'm not gonna survive a Rising Voltage. Maybe... I don't think it can. Maybe Swalot can survive a hit, but I have to sex sent to Scorch to damage this. Is it Levitate? No, okay. But I... God. Why? Why did I use... Why did I X scissor Why? Everything would be fine if I just clicked Poltergeist. Ugh, shit, man. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Okay, hold on. Can I survive an attack? I probably can't. 
Let me check this. If I can survive... So is that a multi-headed rising voltage? Or is that just the first hit of rising voltage? Because <laughs> if that's the first hit of rising voltage, I might be able to survive. It does 86 to 102. So if I if I can do that, I can coil first and then fire fang. Oh, but I don't know if it's calculating multi-headed correctly. The electric terrain is up, so I do know that's correct. I think I have to risk it, because Firefang just doesn't kill. So I, I have to coil here. He went for Steel Beam. Isn't that worse? I think he was trying to predict my switch. Okay, sick. <laughs> I live. Oh, losing Shed Shedunjo has actually been the core of every single fight that I've had since I got it. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what to do from now. I was using it to coast through the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, it might actually be over. I can beat Watson, but it might be over. <laughs> Shouldn't just just so broken. Well, I fire Fang here. It didn't die! How did it not die? I mean, even after a coil? Okay, well, that's... Stupid. <laughs> Well, I mean, then there was nothing I could have done anyway, because either way I would have gotten blasted twice after clicking Fire Fang, even if I clicked it on the first turn. How did it live? Oh, it was raining. Right. Well, then Fire Fang definitely would have... I had to coil anyway. So nothing changed. I guess I, I could have Flare Blitzed. But I thought he would kill me with Rising Voltage, so Flare Blitz would have gotten me killed. If I had known he'd Steel Beam, I would have Flare Blissed, but... Yeah, I, I, I had no way of knowing he was gonna switch it up like that. Oh... God, so bad. Okay. The Steel Beam, Earth Power, Rising Voltage, still raining. I think I just have to go into this. He's got an Earth Power, but... I mean, I can protect. It's not like he's, um, it's not like he has anything to set up with anyway. So I, I protect here just so that hopefully the other stuff goes away. Like, if the Electro Terrain leaves, I'll be a little safer. He's Earth Powering anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think if the first Earth Power uh, drops my Spadef, I might be dead. Oh, okay, never mind. But he didn't drop my Spadef anyway. Don't do it. Thank you. Well, then I probably could have gone into Bungie from the rip, but... God, that's so stupid. Ugh. Okay. Well, whatever. The next gym is Flannery, so I wouldn't have brought Shedinja there anyway, but I needed Shedinja to, like, beat all of the random trainers that I have to fight because that's the easiest way to do it without losing anything. And now I'm gonna have to actually, you know, think. That's like hard for me. Okay, well he's going to Parabolic Charge or Hydro Pump, right? Hydro Pump heals him and Parabolic Charge has 50% boosted power. I think I should stockpile. It's 90 power. Jesus. Okay. So, I think I have to stockpile. I probably have to stay in. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't free switch. If I know he's gonna go for Parabolic Charge, I could go into... Um... You know, Needle Queen, but... I don't know that he's going to do that. So I think I just have to protect here. Heal a little bit. Stockpile. He went for Hydro Pump, because it's raining anyway. He crit me! I did 279 damage. The crit didn't matter. That would've... That wash me anyway. This does so much damage. I think. Am I faster? Well. Ugh, this sucks. It, it was literally a. It was a free battle. If I had just clicked Poltergeist, this battle was literally free because none of the Pokemon touched Shedinja. I'm so bad. Okay. So, I think I have to go into this anyway. Well, it's this or Cat Scratch. Let's just go into this. 
So, hold on. 67 base speed. I am faster. He's just gonna hydro pump. Okay. Well, I have nothing to do but Earthquake. I am Hustle now. Wish I was like Hustle Life Orb and I was really greedy. Oh, never mind. Don't eat it. <laughs> Wait. I mean, I, could, I still have a 1% chance to miss with Hustle, but it's a lot better than 10%. Raichu, I'm about to get Psy shocked, so this is actually good. I can go into... Uh, no, it's not good, because Rising Voltage will do 8 billion damage. So we'll Focus Blast. So I was thinking I could switch into... I could switch into uh, Cat Scratch on a Psy shock, take no damage. But then after that, he's going to Rising Voltage me and I'll Giga Die. I stay in, I Giga Die to Psy Shock. I think my only chance... I think literally my only chance is if he tries to predict my Switch again, and I can click Earthquake. Because if he tries to predict my Switch, then I'm good. <laughs> Maybe I should have Dragon Dance. I should have checked if he could kill me with... Uh... No, he definitely could have killed me with Lantern. I don't know why I thought I'd survive. What am I talking about? No, I, I never had a chance to Dragon Dance. And besides, he's Surge Surfer. Wait, isn't he? What's the other ability? Yeah, he's Surge Surfer. It's guaranteed. Oh, and he's Levitate anyway. Never mind, I, I can't kill this. I almost clicked Earthquake, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully it just goes for Rising Voltage, because it it's not very effective, rather than not effective. So actually, his best play is to go for Rising Voltage here anyway, so that if I switch, I die. Right? He's probably just gonna Psy Shock. But I, I, I don't have any other thing I can do, so I, I have to stay in and click Poison Jab. What's stronger? Poison Jab is 70 power, but with Stab, it's... Yeah, it's stronger than Strength. Help. Yeah, he just went for Psy Shock. It's over. Ugh, shit, Ninja, my sweet. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Well, Cat Scratch, you wanna survive one of these? Wait, hold on. No, it doesn't matter. I should have gone into the other thing. I could maybe get rid of the electric terrain. Then I'd maybe have a chance to survive. And if he misses Focus Blast. Maybe he'll go for Focus Blast anyway. If he goes for Focus Blast and misses, then we're... Oh! It's so easy! Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> oh, this runs so bad. It's so over. But we won! Thank god, I didn't want to have to do this battle again. Especially without Shedinja. <laughs> and without most of my ground types. Holy fuck, dude. Register my Raichu and Pokemon. Oh, okay, we have Rock Smash. That's right. Ampharos. I smell- I swell with optimism seeing a promising strong stew trainer like you. Thanks. Well, at least I won. So we're alive. I have to go back to Verdant Turf now because I think there's something for me there. And I can also clear the rocks to go back to Rustboro. I can't even say that was a good battle just because I lost Shedinja. If five people died and Shedinja lived, then it was- it would be worth it. But losing Shedinja is really, really, really bad. Like, really, really bad. I kind of wish I still had Send to Scorch. But oh well. Uh, what else died? You died. Did you? Yeah, you died to Side Shock. Did Swalot die? Yeah, Swalot got crit. That's right. And I should be at 13 deaths, which I am. Okay, good. <laughs> Quiet, dog. Okay, well, I will level everyone up to the next level cap, so that we can see what they have gotten, because I have a few new evolutions that might be really strong. But let me also check Ampharos and the dogs barking. Okay, so it's Electric Surge, Short Circuit, or Lightning Rod. Those are all really good abilities. I'd probably be Electric Surge, but if I have Raichu on my team at the same time, then maybe I could be Lightning Rod. Hold on, let's also check Mega Ampharos while we're here. 
I have, I mean, I'm, I don't have the Mega Ring. I think I don't get that until Norman, I think someone told me. But, I mean, it's still interesting to check out. Let's see. Pokedex. So Ampharos is, yeah, we see this already. Dazzling Illuminate, Overwhelm. Can hit Barry with Dragon, and it blocks Intimidate. I mean, blocking Scare is nice. Oh, it is, it is a Dragon type. So it's, it, it, oh yeah, never mind. Overwhelm is useful. I thought it was just pure electric. Overwhelm wouldn't be very good then. And Mega is Transistor. Fluffy. And it still is Overwhelm. Okay. So I guess you just run Thunder. Yeah, and I think I would definitely be uh, uh, Electric Surge then, so you can set up Electric Terrain and then just Mega Evolve and have Electric Terrain and Transistor, which sounds pretty busted to me. And you don't even have to Mega Evolve right away, because Dazzling stops them from, like... Uh, protects you from priority moves. So it's actually really good if you are scared of that, too. And then also, like... Yeah. You can have transistor rising voltages. I mean, the problem with that is once the electric terrain runs out, you won't have that anymore. So I think I'd probably still just run Thunder, even though it's a bit weaker. Thunder, Drake... Go Meteor? Nah, probably still just Dragon Pulse. And then Focus Blast is broken, because you actually have accuracy. And it gets Slack Off? I don't think it gets Recovery normally. Yeah, that's pretty great. And it, this thing probably gets Tail Glow, too. I don't think I'd run Tail Glow. That's a bit greedy. But it's something to consider. Okay, well, that's it for now. I'm gonna reiterate once again that losing Shedinja is really, really bad, but <laughs> we'll live, probably. I have a lot of Pokemon in my box, and this is the part of the game where I'm gonna start running through them like pancakes, and they're all gonna die because I lost Shedinja. <laughs> well, I'll level them all up to the level cap to see what they get, and I guess uh, we'll be back next time where I go to Burden Turf. Bye.